morning, everyone, and welcome to our 2018 Summer Product Lounge. It's very, a, a, really a pleasure to see so many of you today. And many of you have asked me this morning if I am ready for this presentation, and of course I am. I'm more than ready because we are impatient to share with you the great achievement of our product and our ND teams. But before that, I would like to share with you a concept, a concept by Marie-Noëlle Vigier and Stéphanie Bekir. This is the concept of corporate hacking. So I'm sure that you all know what a hacker is, correct? But what do you think when you hear it? Do you think of a criminal? Do you think of hoodies? Or maybe you think of a guy in his parents' basement cracking website all night long? Well, I'm sure that this guy exists somewhere. But if we look at the real hacker, he's very different from that. He's more a do-gooder than a do-badder. And at Talentsoft, we are really convinced that you can bring the best part of hacker's personality into your own workplace. Why? Because they have many qualities that lead them to great success. They are curious and like to investigate. They are also creative and always see problems as opportunities to test new things. And they are persistent. Persistent, they always keep in mind the final goal they have to reach. So that's this determination, this mentality to go from point A to point B in the most innovative way. This is exactly what we need in our company, correct? Isn't it? So this is what corporate hacking is all about. So throughout the next hour, we will walk you through three different ways to foster an environment for corporate hacking, to encourage creativity, and to encourage your people to think out of the box exactly like entrepreneurs. And let's start right now with a first method to transform your performance review management. As we've just said, corporate hackers are like entrepreneurs. So they are very agile, they work with iterative methodologies, and they are constantly connected to their community. So in such a context, if we look at the performance review, the traditional once-a-year assessment with one person, generally the manager, just is not going to cut it. So to solve that issue, you know that with innovation like 360 assessment or social feedback, Talent Stuffed is already disrupting these traditional performance uh, management reviews. And now we would like you to hear di directly from one of our customers, Sugard. Sugard is the European market leader in self storage solution based in Belgium. And I would like you to see how this is working for them how they are moving toward this new approach of performance management. Let's take a look. Sugar Self Storage is the European leader in uh, providing self storage solution for private customers, but also companies. We are in seven countries with 700 to 750 employees. Sugar uh, does around 250 million euro um, income in the seven countries. The first challenge we had uh, was really to move from uh, paper, uh, Excel, uh, to digital. Also to move from a decentralized to centralized. And of course the second challenge was really to um, work on the uh, turnover and um, also to make sure that some of the cultural aspects that we have are really tangible so that we can really work on a more precise aspects of the, the key elements managers need to have in terms of engaging their people and keeping them on board. Sugar is really um, strong in terms of a permanent feedback culture. Two years ago, we really started a project. We were really looking for a comprehensive package. We have deployed um, the performance uh, management module uh, together with the core HR. Then we've deployed also the recruitment module and finally the LMS, LCMS is in progress right now. Around 600 people were reviewed in the system. 
out of the 750. And we've moved from around 70% of the population that did the whole process to a bit more than 90% that did the entire process. In terms of the quality of the content, one of the benefits of being transparent, which means that in terms of performance management now, HR can have access to all the performance management forms. Uh, we can have it on centralized, so learning and development, I can have access to it as well. So which really helps in terms of coaching or manager, in terms of the content they write, and also in terms of preparing the conversation. So we, we would say really that we've made a, a very big improvement in terms of the quality and last but not least, in terms of having content based on facts. It's, that's something that changes as well. I was expecting when we launched the process to have lots of calls and emails and I was almost uh, falling asleep because nobody was calling and nobody was sending any emails because they, the process was so uh, user-friendly that they could do it uh, by themselves. So that's, that's really for us a major element. We've implemented the solution in one month and a half uh, out of the uh, seven countries uh, for four languages. So yeah, if I can give a, a special uh, remark to uh, the project team of Talentsoft that did a, a tremendous job, so that's for sure. Thank you for this great video, and I'm sure you are now very curious to know how Sugard is moving to this continuous performance development. So I'm pleased to welcome on stage Emmanuel Pinoir from Sugard and Loha Primo. Please welcome. So, hi Emmanuel. Hi, hi everyone. Hi everyone. So, Emmanuel, in your video, you talked about continuous feedback and continuous conversation. Can you explain how it's helping your company and what are the benefits for employees and their relationships with managers? So, as I said in the video, really continuous feedback is really part of our culture. It's very important for us. And we see the benefits as um, for the employee, of course. Uh, they, they get an immediate feedback on the performance, on the way they, they behave towards clients, so they can really immediately um, correct, course correct, or they can re really immediately improve, so that's great. In terms of the manager, uh, what's important is uh, he's really building, he or she is building a, a strong relationship with a team. So we change from a pure line management relation to a coach-coachee relation, so that's very important. And then last but not least for the company, of course, what is key for us is we are increasing the engagement. And increasing the engagement means immediate better performance, uh, better figures, better respect of the processes. So really, that's what we see in terms of benefits. Well, I think that's very interesting. And especially that most companies today rely on annual appraisals to manage their employees' performance because they see it as a structural moment. So what about Shogard? Well, we we actually stepping away from the uh, annual uh, appraisal, uh, really. So we've realized that it's really a painful moment for both the manager and for the uh, employee. So for the manager, it's a waste of time. They spend a lot of time in writing feedback, trying to scratch their head and find IDs. And basically, they always remember the last few weeks before the moment. And for the employee, it's really high stress moment, and it's diff very difficult for them to connect with real example of what happened during the year. So really we're stepping away from that. But of course, uh, we said also in the video, it's important to keep track. So we're still using Talentsoft to have that continuous conversation and to continue to coach or manager in do having this conversation on a regular basis. Great, thank you. Well, um, final question for you. You know, there is a recurrent trend today that says that job descriptions are slowly disappearing to allow employees to engage in projects throughout the year that are not obviously part of their daily job. So what do you think about this trend and is this real within your company? Well, yes. Um, actually, we have two, two types of population within Sugart. We've got people in the stores and they do a pretty much repetitive job. So it's, it's really well defined in terms of what the things they have to do. And then we've got the support center members 
And these support center members, well, actually, we have job description, but that's not really relevant. So more and more, we're moving uh, in recurrent tasks, like everybody, uh, an accountant is an accountant, but also to project mode, where we have an ongoing conversation there as well in, in project-based uh, on things they have to do and how it improves the company. And so really bringing meaningful experience and meaningful project for the company. Well, I really want to say thank you, Emmanuel, for sharing through this video and this interview how continuous manager-employee dialogue and constant feedback are helping you align with the needs of your business and, of course, engage your workforce towards greater successes. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Thank you. So now, let's see in more detail how Talentsoft is supporting this shift towards continuous development and empowerment. Today, in this scene, I'm working as a head of marketing in a company just like Shogard, and I've just been informed that we're opening a new business unit in the US in the next quarter. So, you know, I need to meet up with my team because when business priorities change, it's important to see how we can quickly realign objectives. So I'll ask Camille, one of my team members in this scene, to join me on stage for a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Hi, Laura. Hi, Camille. How are you? I'm doing perfectly great. How are you? Well, I'm great. And I actually have some exciting news to share with you. We're out to conquer America. That's a great project, isn't it? How can I contribute to it? Well, I'm glad you're asking, because that's actually the point of the meeting. So let's review your projects dashboard together. Welcome to the Continuous Conversation, a new application designed by Talentsoft for managers to follow their employees' projects and performance on an ongoing basis. As a manager, this one-page application provides me with a comprehensive view of all of my team members' activity. What you see on the screen is actually a collection of OKRs, standing for Objectives and Key Results. The objectives are the colored cards that usually have an ambitious title connected to the company's vision, such as drive innovation within the company. And they represent the destination, what employees want to achieve. The key results are the small blocks that you can see inside the cards and they represent the milestones, the steps towards the objective. And you can easily reorganize them by using a simple drag and drop to meet your business priorities. Now, let's deep dive into the product to see how it really works. If I click on population, I can see all the pretty faces of my six team members. I can easily deselect or select the people I want to review. Now, of course, I have six people in my team, but you might have 20 people or 50 people working with you, so you can also use the effective search bar to look for a specific employee. Now, I'm having a meeting with Cami right now, so I'll filter on Cami. And as you can see, the cards have automatically adjusted and now show me only Cami's objectives. I have something to say, Laura. I really like this page, and what I like the most is that, like, as an employee, I have the exact same page, and it's great. You're absolutely right. And that's because the system is fully transparent. As, as it's been said earlier, it's for managers and employees to always stay aligned on what needs to be achieved. So, Camille, we have a lot to do to support the US opening. I'm sure. So I think we should start creating a new objective for you. Sure. Um, objective should be very ambitious. So I suggest to be number one in the US as an very ambitious goals. Well, you know what? I think that's bold and I love it. So all I have to do is click on add a new objective and start filling in the few mandatory blanks. As Kemi suggested, she's very bold, so let's, let's just write B number one in the US. I'll select an objective type, and it's important to say that these are fully customizable with colors as well to make it easy for you to actually visually grasp the kind of operations you're into. So I'll select development. I'll assign it to Kami, but I could choose to add several owners because it's an ambitious objective, so I could want several people from my team to actually work towards the same goal. And I'll select a due date. And now I have two options. 
I can either save it as a draft if I want to come back to it later, or I can publish it right away. And that's what I'm going to do, because I want Camille to start working on her new objective immediately. OK, so now I get it. I have to start working on it. <laughs> but the real question is, how do I get it? How do I make it? Well, Camille, it's very simple. Let's break your objective into key results, which, again, are the individual steps that measure your progress towards the objective. Great. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember now. Because without measurement, it's not a goal, only a desire, right? <laughs> That's actually my line. That's her favorite line. I know. OK, back to our key results. Where would you like to start? What would be a good first target for you, Camille? I think we should start getting insights on competition. So I would suggest to study the three main competitors in the US market. Works for me. And right. again, it's very simple. All I have to do is click on Add a Key Result and fill in the few fields. I'll select Camille as the owner. And regarding deadline, do you think you can deliver a first version next month? Yes, but can we adjust if I don't make it? Is it possible? Of course, it's very possible. That's the flexibility of this product. So you know what? I'll just select end of July, and we can still readjust the next time we meet if needed. Perfect. So now, Camille, as you see, it's been like, what, five minutes? And you now have a clear objective and a first milestone to reach. But there's still one remaining question, because we're working always as a team. So do you need any contributor to help you in these achievements? Remind me, what are contributors? People I will work on this task with? Exactly. Well, actually, let me show you how it works. If I click on your key result, I can enrich it with any relevant information that will help you achieve your target. I can add a description of what you need to work on, I can add a status, and again, these are fully customizable to meet your business practices. And I can add a tag, for example, if I want to filter on specific project items in the future. But as you mentioned, I can also choose to add contributors. And what are they? Well, they're basically teammates that you can select to help you achieve your mission, because you think they have the right competencies for the task, or they might just have an interest in participating. So can you think of anyone for this key result? I had a bit of time to think about it. And actually, I'm thinking about Audrey and Anthony. They provide, most of the time, very good feedback on competitive intelligence. So I think it's a good choice. What do you think? Well, if there are great matches for you, then I think it's awesome. So let's add them as contributors. And I will confirm with them later, because as you know, they will receive a notification on their own dashboard. Thanks, Laura. I have a question. I see here a request button, request feedback. What is this one? Well, thank you for asking, because that's the power of the continuous conversation. You know, I've just added contributors to your key result, and you can actually receive in-context feedback from your contributors. That will allow you to see what you're good at and where you can improve. But if you click the Request button feedback, you can also ask for feedback at any time from any one of your team members on a specific event related to your key results, such as a presentation, a meeting that you had. And all this feedback will be consolidated here. I really like that feature. I'm definitely going to be addicted to it, don't we? Isn't that great? A feature, you just click a button, it sends an email notification. Dream of HR, my dream. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> well, I think everybody agrees, but that's totally the spirit. And finally, with all this consolidated feedback and the meetings that we will have, we will be able to assess the progress you're making by just clicking the progress bar and moving it to, I hope, 100%. That's amazing. One question, Laura. I noticed on the home page there was a red information, a red date. Remind me what it is. Well, it's, I saw it as well. It's actually a notification of one of your key results reaching its That's due right. date today. So let's have a look. That's right. It's the deliver of the speech today, right now, during the product launch. So I think I'm done. I'm almost finished. Don't you think? OK, uh, wait a second. I think you did great. And I saw as well that you've been receiving some great and positive feedback all the way from rehearsals to the preparation to giving your speech today. 
But you know what, Camille? I would like to have one last feedback, like one last feedback on the actual result of delivering this pitch. I mean, who would be a good witness for that? I have an idea because actually there are many over here. So I'll ask your contribution. Please, if you think that I have succeeded, and I did, please raise your hands very high. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, you know what? This looks like the most happiest crowd ever. So what I'll do is just I comment on behalf of everyone. I'll move, of course, your statues to completed and your progress from 50% to 100. And I want to say thank you, Camille. I was so happy to share the stage with you today, and you did a very good job. Thank you, Laura. Me too. So thank you, everyone. Just let's stop the role playing. It's not my real life, actually. You've just seen our new product, the continuous conversation tool. So as you have understood, it's a tool for both managers and employees. Three main things you need to remember. You can select and choose all together ambitious goals, measure it thanks to key results, and finally, be helped thanks to the ongoing feedback so that people can develop themselves and grow professionally. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you very much, Camille. Thank you, Laura. And thank you again to Shugard for sharing with us how they have disrupted the, classi the classical, traditional yearly assessment. Uh, so now you know how, with Talentsoft and the continuous performance development, you can help employees to express their aspirations and to be fully part of their own goal definitions, which is exactly what you need to foster an environment for your corporate hackers. And remember, corporate hackers are curious. They are eager to find innovative ways to solve problems. So to encourage this culture, you need to empower employees to learn by themselves, to share what they've learned, and to provide them the opportunity to design their own learning experience. So to illustrate this, I would like to introduce Veolia. Veolia is really convinced that employees' training is a key part of their corporate culture. And to that end, they have created Campus Veolia, which is a network of 15 training centers across 10 countries, so please, let's hear from them. Veolia is a company that resources the world. There's approximately 163,000 employees, which generates a revenue uh, as of, of 2016 of uh, around 24 billion pounds. We're in multiple countries across the globe, in waste, water and energy uh, is the main components of our organisation and we're trying to uh, do something special with, with regards to recycling. The main uh, challenge that we had was the fact that we had a growing population of employees. All of these employees needed development and training. Face-to-face -face facilitation, uh, there was a need and still is a need. However, if you try and train, uh, you'd have to think of transportation, location, accommodation. Uh, and with Talentsoft, this is a platform that we can train uh, and provide customised content for all of these resources with one click of a button. There's a scoring system. People in the office are shouting, what score did you get on this course? What score did you get on that course? And people are going back in trying to achieve a higher score. Again, we were able to kind of engage with our employees by giving them and developing them customised content as well as engaging content that's different, it's a little bit more fun. Now, you can understand as an organisation the amount of cost that this reduces, the amount of uh, uh, money that uh, as a business we save being able to deploy a module of this nature to thousands of our employees where they don't have to move from their desk to complete this module. It allows us to communicate well to our organisation to identify the amount of people that need training or want training or the scores that they're 
achieving when they're completing our modules and it allows us then to communicate to management to see who is or who isn't completing these modules. If it was a scale of one to five uh, in terms of satisfaction of use uh, for the LMS, it would be a six. Thank you for this great video. I'm sure uh, you want to know more about uh, Veolia, so for them to tell you about the, how this works for, for them, I'm pleased to welcome on stage Ashley Robinson from Veolia UK and Justus Geist. <laughs> In the video, you mentioned that uh, satisfaction with the LMS is a six out of uh, a possible five, so thank you very much. But why is this so important for you and for your learners? Um, it's important to us uh, at People Development, Veolia, UK and Ireland. For the sheer fact we're able to deploy customized content to thousands of our employees by the click of a button. Now, as I mentioned on the video, you can imagine, if you use to train all of your employees as face-to-face -face facilitation, um, the cost of that would be astronomical. Um, you'd have to then uh, pay for the facilitator. They would have to develop content, then they would have to train their delegates. There'd be reporting that they'd have to do, which is all manual. They'd have to be registered. All of these different things would be difficult. Now, the process uh, with TalentSoft is you upload the module, customize content for your employees, you deploy this module with a click of a button, then you can get raw analytics and data and track all of the uh, people that are completing the module and the scores that they are getting in instantaneously, uh, which is why it's so powerful for us to use as a tool uh, to train our delegates uh, and employees. Well, another point that you mentioned is around gamification. You mentioned the employees high-fiving each other in the office yes. uh, around scores. Yeah. So how is that driving engagement and even learning empowerment within Veolia? Well, first, um, going back on the point that you mentioned in regards to gamification, it creates a competitive edge. So people then want to actually achieve a better score than their colleagues. So if somebody's not doing so well on a quiz, so to speak, and they're uh, uh, the weakest link in the team, then they'll make uh, an encouraging nudge from their colleagues to have another goal. So they, uh, their department uh, is higher uh, in the achievement of that particular module in the country. It creates a culture, um, it creates an interest, um, and uh, gamification for me is something that's needed because I've been uh, a victim of boring content, as I suspect that some of you have here. Never. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have, unfortunately. Um, and again, if there is a competitive edge and people are able to achieve scores, um, it just really uh, breeds a, a positive culture within the environment and the working environment. That's great. I think, uh, and you mentioned it again in the video a bit, around the trends of learning moving forward. You know, we had a lot of talks today about the changing nature of our workforce, mobile first workforce. So how do you see that impacting L&D community and uh, learning, especially now in Veolia, at uh, Veolia? Um, it's a culture. So if you are deploying customized content or purchasing content to be used uh, through uh, TalentSoft, um, it needs to be responsive. Uh, the culture is a lot of people are on social media using handheld devices, mobile devices, and the content needs to implement those type of changes to technology. However, you're providing a solution where people are on trains, they're still training, they're catching flights, they're still able to train, they're on their laptops, uh, traveling from different location to location, and they're still able to train. Uh, the TalentSoft app, again, is an amazing tool that we use. Um, and it enables us to then deploy modules like this to a demographic, like I said, of thousands of people with the click of a button. Um, so if you are developing or looking for content, um, make sure it's responsive, because if it's not, then it will not go into the new age of technology that we're currently living in at this moment in time. Well, thank you very much, Ashley. I think you actually spoiled so much of my presentation <laughs> that I can now go sit down again. So thank you very much, Ashley Robinson. No thank problem. you very much thank for being you. here. Thank I appreciate you. it. Huh? Thank you. 
So now let's consider for a moment actually looking at the products that I am working at a company just like Veolia. But I cannot show that to you just alone because learning is a challenge that I don't face my, only myself. So I'd actually like to look for a, well, let's call it a victim, a, a willing participant from the audience. And don't worry, before you all get all nervous, I think, Elodie, we haven't seen enough of you today, so why don't you join me again? So let's hear it for her again, please. Huh? Uh, th thank you very much, Hello, Elodie. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get to the heart of the matter. We know that uh, we have been both working on a uh, business intelligence uh, project within the company, yeah. and that both of us, you know, in our discussions, we decided that we actually need to learn more, learn better, uh, in depth about this topic. Yes. And let's take a look at that with our all new Talentsoft Learning and here the new Talentsoft Training Catalog. What we have here is our completely reworked catalog with different uh, categories that can be completely customized and defined by HR. We've thought about a catalog that has been designed around the principles of user experience and user design that we all know from our daily lives, from our smartphones, because it's so important to engage our learners quickly with the content we have. In addition, we have a slider at the top of the page now that actually will push content to us. Content based on the learning needs that I have, content based on the courses that I've had in the past. So in this case, you can see here, I actually have a course on business intelligence available on my homepage. You know what, Justice, e, all this on-demand content just makes me think about Netflix. You know, Elodie, you're absolutely right. It's just like that. It's all about getting content on your demand. It's when you are able to learn, when you need to learn that this content is available at your fingertips. Right. So let's take a quick look at the uh, course here, the business intelligence course. I can see on my next page I have coming out right now when I didn't forget to log in, as it <laughs> often happens. You know, I uh, uh, actually forget my password while I do demos, so that's great news for everyone. I see here on the course itself, on the bottom of the page, the different learning paths that I can then look into. And what I have here is an interesting one around enriched business practices. So if I click on that course, I actually get the full information about this unit. I have information about the learning sessions, where they are available. In this case, there are sessions in Amsterdam, which is great news since we are in Amsterdam, last time I checked. And then if we go to the bottom of the page, and this is where the engagement of the learner becomes critical. I have information about how I will consume this content. Now, if I like e-learning content, I can see right away, yes, it's available in e-learning. If I would prefer hybrid learning or blended learning with some classroom elements in it, I can see that right away here as well. So it's so important that your learner actually knows how he will be able to consume that content to get them more engaged and willing to participate. And just to finish it up, all I could do is now simply sign up for the uh, session that I'm actually available for, and I'm done. But we're not quite done, <laughs> because we have here now our traditional email reception. Yes, I was signed up for the course, but what I could do now is simply take out my smartphone, and because figuratively speaking, we'll do it, of course, backstage, but here you can see as if I would have my smartphone out with the all-new LMS app that you can all download today on your iPhone store or Google Play store, of course. And I have a little box here called Use QR Code. Now, I simply, you remember the application I had? The Talentsoft app has a built-in QR code reader that allows you to simply scan the uh, email that I received. And you have the wonderful effect of being logged in right away into the application. Now, there's another point why this is so important. When you are on site in a classroom environment, you can actually scan an attendance sheet with a QR code to simply check in. So it helps you blend for you and L&D the physical and digital experience of your people and of your learners. 
And just as you know, I was about to ask you a question because as most of you here, we travel a lot. Yeah. But I don't have the question because I'm seeing right now that content is available offline. So is it right? It is right. So I can confirm, yes, you can download content. And this is so important. I mean, we were talking the other day. We were in the train going to Amsterdam. And there was spotty coverage. There was not an internet coverage all the way. 4G wasn't available in certain areas. Going through the north of France. Sorry if uh, Orange is here. Please uh, you know, work on that. And then what we have here is offline content. I could actually download that content onto my phone before I went on a train and then consume it at my leisure, anytime, anywhere. So when I had a moment to actually catch up on my learning, I was able to pull out my smartphone. Doesn't matter if I was in the metro, doesn't matter if I'm on a plane, I can just consume the content and get on with my learning uh, course. So it's, it's a great tool to enable me to learn, again, in an on-demand, anytime, anywhere way. But it's not the only thing that's available in the app. Let's focus here on the next part. This is the training area. And what I have here available, again, in the palm of my hands, is the entire breadth and depth of our learning management solution. You have the access to everything, I repeat, to the entire learning management solution in your hand. You can see here the most popular courses again. Ashley talked about the importance of competition, of gamification again. I have a badging mechanism that will allow me to uh, compete with my team. I'm a very competitive guy, so normally I should probably have all the badges already, uh, so we'll have to check what's going wrong. You don't and have the one for humility. Well, I, I should have that one as well, yes, I agree. <laughs> we have here the training podium. Of course, the different learners can compete to be top of the learning podium. It's about you and L&D being able to engage with your learners, making sure that they feel part of a greater whole of your learning community. And in addition, and on the bottom of the page, I have a calendar listing all the different learning events and deadlines that I have coming up in the next weeks. But if we now focus on the second part of our app, what we have here is all the different learning courses that I'm actually signed up for. And if we go and dive into the, one of those learning units, say again, here the enriched business practices on uh, data, what I can do is not only, of course, consume a video or a content that's made available for me, but we talked about the importance of measurement. And what I can do here is two things. First, I can like the content. Of course, you all know this from Facebook. What your uh, friends, your colleagues like, you're more likely to look at, to consume. For a learner, that's great. But it's also great for uh, L&D and for HR. Why? Because you can then see what content is valuable to your learners, what content is worth developing more. In addition, you can do quantitative, uh, qualitative feedback. You can actually do a comment right away. So in this case, I could say, I already did this course, amazing content. <laughs> and then here, our learning team can just say, great, I get all this qualitative content in, in addition. So imagine that you have something that's not going quite right. People can actually tell you why. Then we come to the last part. And here, it's all about assessment. I can, again, take the assessment on my phone, and why? For a learner, of course, it's key that I can check if I understood the content, and where do I still have knowledge gaps within the unit that I'm learning. For our, for our l and and for HR, it's key to measure what courses, uh, what learners actually learned, proof that they were actually participating, and making sure that we can then enhance and push more content to that learner based also on their scores. You know, Justice, I would have thought that the LMS mobile app would have been a shorter or lighter version of what I have on my LMS platform. I'll stop you but right there. It's yeah. not. Yeah. Again, it's the entire power of Talentsoft LMS, of learning management system, on your phone. Even the Nothing community? Else. Even the communities, and I know you love the communities. I love it. I love the communities. Alex loves communities. Here are communities. So what you have here are <laughs> all the different learning communities within your company. 
Within your organization, you can see here the conversations that's been ongoing. Of course, it's great that the system intelligently pushes me content, but you trust your colleagues again. You trust those team members that actually you work with, that you trust their judgment. And what we can see here is having conversations around those learning moments. So for example, if you look at a conversation here started by Mary, she's actually posting about a learning uh, that she did. And then you, can, you will see people react with sharing additional content. So you actually grow your knowledge base. You actually grow the information that you have available within your organization by allowing, and Alexander spoke about it before, giving freedom to your employees to share content proactively. And then as a last part, I can, of course, again, comment because I'm such a huge influencer. I can just say, great stuff, Mary. Thank you very much. And you can see here, again, it's easy, it's available, it's engaging. It makes sure that everything around learning is built around gamification, social interactions, and making sure that I can consume my content anytime, anywhere, on demand. Thank you very much, Justice. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much, all. Thank you very much, Ashley. So until now, we have seen how we can change the frequency and the method of feedback with continuous conversation for employees and how to create a culture of learning. But don't miss the main goal we have today. We all want to make our organizations even more successful. So this is key to be able to effectively measure the success of these new ways of working. And one of the criteria we all need to assess in our companies is the alignment between the workforce and the strategic objectives of the company. So with that said, a unified HR, a central place to manage the workforce and to centralize all employee data is absolutely key to measure the success. So to illustrate this, I would like you to hear from Talentsoft directly, because we are the ones who use our own product first. And we have recently implemented our own Talentsoft hub solution. And you will see that it's not only to centralize employee data, but also to support the entire employee experience at Talentsoft. Let's take a look. At Talentsoft, we talk more about people team organizational design than about an HR organization. Actually, with the team, all together, we have designed a model that is aligned and centered on our people's success. Our Talentsoft people team, it's nine colleagues, all action-oriented, very bold, and organized in three main teams. People business partner, shared services, center of expertise. And of course, don't forget all our managers. We have an international approach and a local implementation with, for example, a dedicated people business partner for all our international colleagues. At Parentsoft, we were facing three main challenges. The first one was to centralize all our data and get relevant analytics about our workforce. You know, I'm sure that you know, just to have an answer, a simple answer to a simple question like, what is the retention rate for the sales department? And to have this answer for the people team and the manager as quick as possible. The second challenge was that we spent a lot of time on low value added tasks. We needed, really we needed to increase the time spent on strategic projects and to ensure that we align our practices for all countries. And the last but not the least, as we wanted to help managers in making the right decisions, we needed to deliver the right information when they needed it. To face all those challenges, we choose to use our own tool and implement our Talentsoft Hub solution.
With Talentsoft Hub, we benefit from one system for managing all countries but adapted to local specificities. First of all, we chose to go for the hybrid mode, which is really the best fit for our organization. In France, the master system is our payroll system, and in the regions, Talentsoft is the master and is connected to local payroll systems. Second of all, we save a significant amount of time on several low-value added actions, on data collection and update as we put the sales service in the end of our employees, and on document management, we use the contract generation, e-signature and document storage provided by the Talentsoft Hub. And the last one, we can do all this in one unified solution, also including a comprehensive dashboard, helping us focus on the essential through notification about onboarding, contract termination, and medical checks. Now for you to have a better understanding of how it works at Talentsoft, I would like to call on stage our Chief People Experience Officer, Laure Pourageau, and Julie Frittel, who will play the role for today of our HR Administrator. Hi everyone. Hi Lo, how are you? Hi Julie, hello everybody. So in the video, you said you implemented a unified core HR. Can you say it positively impacts your employee experience? Oh, yeah. I said it on the video, I can say it on stage again. Yes, I'm strongly convinced and uh, I have many proofs that implementing a unified core HR enables companies to bring the best experience to the people. And it's clear, it's, it's for three main reasons. The first one is that a unified core HR uh, really uh, gives to the, to the organization and to the employee uh, the power to manage himself his own information. So it's empowerment of the employees. Uh, I think likewise, the managers are really more autonomous in their management. And as a consequence, the people teams have more time, are more dedicated, are more focused on developing, designing, and piloting the best experience at work. Great. And how do you engage HR and managers in designing this employee experience? Oh, you know, I, I would love to have a, a paper, a pen, and to make some drawings for you to explain. But if, if I can... Uh, uh, give you the examples of, uh, of uh, perhaps one site, uh, a unified core HR uh, provide and, uh, and really give to the managers the best information, indicators, great analytics. And this is for helping the managers to take the right decision, to follow up on their team with the HR teams. And I think what is important is that doing this, you give to the manager the time for Continuous conversation, we saw it. Uh, permanent improvement, development, recruitment, coaching, and meeting with the teams. On the second side, second part of the drawing, uh, implementing a unified core HR allows the people team to really be focused on value-added missions. You know, I don't want my team to be a back-office team. I don't want my team to wait that managers, employees come to ask them something. I want them to be proactive, to be front office. And implementing a unified core HR, it's important because they play a strategic role. They play a role able to grow the company, to develop the people. And if you combine these two sides, I mean, the management one, the HR team one, you really contribute to develop the best experience at work. Great. And would you have any last advice for our audience on courage HR implementation? Yes, I can give you some. Now, you know, I'm a, a chief people experience officer doing HR at Talentsoft, a company with doing HR. So it's a little bit of schizophrenia. Uh, how do you say? Schizophrenia, yes. I, I don't know how to say it because I don't know what it is. But it could be at Talentsoft to be a little bit like this, doing HR in an HR company. But I have some secret if you want to implement a, 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 a unified core HR. It's, it's really don't forget change management. It's important because, in fact, you need the whole organization to be fully adapted to optimize the use of the tool. And it's always a question of education. It's 
educating your people, educating your manager, educating the HR team, because really you will make them more data-driven in the decision-making, and you will be more people experience-centric. So if you need some advice, secret of the secrets, because I made sure in talent stuff, so secrets of the secrets, don't hesitate, and I will have time to talk with you during the lunch time. Thank you very much, Laure. Thank no, you so thank much. You, Julie. And now, let's see together how HR can move to a data-driven culture. Let's see how Talentsoft Analytics can help you reveal hidden trends, make informed decisions, and accelerate your recruiting process. And let's also see together how Talentsoft Hub helps you keep track of all interactions with your employees. And for that, as Elodie mentioned, today I'll play the role of an HR administrator at Talentsoft, and I would like to be joined on stage by Brita Andreessen, who'll play the role of head of recruiting at Talentsoft. Hi, Julie. Hi, Rita. So, even if we work in different parts of HR, I think we both agree that we really need to have a strategy focused on data. Yes, absolutely. Data helps us get quality insights which guide our recruitment efforts. In fact, data is just as important to recruitment as it is to HR admin. Let me show you how Townsoft Analytics helps us measure our recruiting success. So, here we are on the recruiting analytics page, and there is a lot of information to help us make more informed decisions about our recruitment campaigns. On the left, there are prepackaged dashboards, which give me key indicators for HR challenges such as applicants by status, internal mobility, or job requests by status. Wait, Brida, you said these dashboards are prepackaged. Does that mean they already come included with Talentsoft Analytics? Yes, you're right. The analytics solution provides ready-to-use dashboards and graphs directly embedded in the solution. But what makes analytics powerful is that you can build your own dashboards, which is key to measuring how effective our processes are. For example, I'm always trying to answer a very simple question. Are we optimizing our time to hire? And to get the answer, I build my own dashboard, including several graphs you see here, showing me what really happens in my process. All the information from my recruiting solution is analyzed compared to the ideal recruitment process I previously defined in the administration part. And what I did was specifying the steps of the process their order and ideal length. So, let's take a look at the first graph I created on process quality. And with this, you can check how well your processes are being respected? Yes, exactly. Here you can right away see the processes that are out of order or incomplete. If I drill through, I can get a closer look at these applications. And I can analyze the breakdown of how long each step of my process is taking. Let's take a look at the average time to hire for each entity. And for now, I'm mainly concerned about the Netherlands, so let's focus on this entity by filtering in the graph. As you can see, the average process duration in 2018 is very long, so let's also focus on this year. So, now you see all the, all the graphs have updated depending on the filters. Now let's take a look at time to hire per recruiter and see what happens. And I see that Michelle is spending 14 days on the interview step. Isn't that too long? You're right. Something seems off here. In the ideal process, we defined this step should not exceed seven days. So let's deep dive to understand what happened and um, maybe check if it comes from internal or external recruitment. Um, yeah. As analytics is extremely intuitive, I can in just a few clicks edit my graph and add a new dimension. So let's drag and drop the internal external dimension. OK, so for internal candidates, there is no major problem. But for external candidates, she is really spending too much time. 
21 days is really too long compared to what we defined in our ideal process. So I will need to talk with her and, and find the right solution. Well, what a great tool. So Talentsoft Analytics really helps you reveal hidden trends, make informed decisions and accelerate your selection process. Yes, Julie, because don't forget, my main goal is to hire the best talent at the right time. And by the way, I just hired Alison Bell. And on our side, we already started her onboarding process. Can you show me how you will manage her onboarding from an administrative perspective? Sure, I'd be happy to. As an HR administrator, my main tool is Talentsoft Hub. This is where everything happens. The core HR, workforce management, and headcount analysis. Let's take a look at it. Here I am on my core HR dashboard. This is where I can turn any HR decisions into actions for employees, such as onboarding, offboarding, medical checkups that are necessary for French work regulations, and even probationary periods. So, Brita, when you concluded the recruiting process with Alison, she was automatically pushed in my onboarding dashboard. And from here, I can directly start creating her employee file in one click. Here, what you see is that all her information is already filled in. Because as we benefit from a fully integrated solution, all the information you added in the recruiting process was automatically transferred into the hub. And as Alison will be working in the UK, we have chosen the UK template to create her employee file. This means I have here all the specific fields that are specific to entities or countries. And here, I see another thing. Another Alison has been pushed to me automatically by the system. There are two options there. The first one is that I have another employee with the same name in the company. And the second option, which is the case here, is that it is a duplicate. So basically, the system helps me save time and avoids duplicates because all of you in the audience know how duplicates are a nightmare for HR admins. So from here, with all information filled in, I can directly rehire her in one click. Now her employee file is updated? Yes, absolutely. What you'll see on the screen is her employee file. The employee file is where all administrative information and interactions with employees are consolidated. The information is organized by data sets here on the left, which I can reorder with a simple drag and drop if I want to. And all this information in the employee file is naturally connected to my payroll system through APIs, either as a master, slave, or a hybrid system. So up here, what you see with the nice colors is the timeline. It is where all administrative events from Alison's career journey are consolidated. Should it be address changes, family status, and so on. And contracts as well? Yes, Brida, contracts as well. In fact, let's take a look at her contracts. As she already worked with us, her previous contract already exists. And during the onboarding process, I retrieved and filled in all key information for her contract. So the new one is all also re already created here. And what I can do is simply edit the, this contract and add some key information. For example, let's add the hiring reason and compensation information. Let's say the gross annual salary base. Let's say 35K euros. Okay, so now that all her information is entered, I can save this contract. And the last step that remains is generating the document. Wait, you mean you can generate the contract without leaving the solution? Yes, absolutely. This is a one-page application, and the full document management process is automated. So from here, I'll be able to generate the document in just one second, in one click. It's magic. I just have to select my localized templates, which is the UK one, and generate the contract. In a few seconds, it will be created, and I'll be able to grab it from the dedicated tab, which is the Documents tab, in fact. 
On the Documents tab, I can manage all my documents. I can download them, edit them, delete them, and even send them for e-signature. Yes, because Talentsoft now includes an e-signature feature, which will allow us to send Alison her contract by email, so she'll be able to sign it digitally. And in fact, let me show you how it will look like for Alison. This is her experience for e-signature. Here she will be able to review her contract and sign it digitally. Here we are going to sign it manually, but don't worry, there are a lot of other options. She would be able to receive a code on her phone, for example. So she'll be able to review and sign her contract from any device she would like. It is as simple as that. That's great. I'm impressed how you can manage an end-to-end -end process from creating the employee to signing the contract within one unified core HR. Yes, Brida. And the hub is also a basis for us to analyze our headcount and monitor our workforce. And just as you benefit from analytics in the recruiting solution, Townsoft Hub also comes with analytics embedded. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, girls. <laughs> thank you, Julie. Thank you, Britta. And thank you, Laure. This is impressive to see such intuitive solutions to create a real data-driven culture. So now it's time for the conclusion of our product launch. So whether you are a startup or a large company, we hope that by sharing with you the principles of corporate hacking, you will be inspired to bring it all or part of it into your own workplace. So let's sum up quickly. You now know that by moving towards continuous conversation and continuous performance development, your corporate hackers will have more freedom to test new things, and more opportunities to get regular feedback from their manager to know exactly where they can improve. And these same people with talents of learning can now design their own learning experience to co constantly grow their knowledge and improve their skills. And in turn, this knowledge will em empower them to try new things, to share what they've learned, and to become active leaders of their own career development. And with Talentsoft Analytics and Talentsoft Hub, all their effort, all the interactions can be transformed into data so that HR and managers can keep in memory all HR events of their career and then get richer conversation and support create the best personalized work experience from them, for them. So all of this is the recipe for you to foster an environment open to the corporate hacker that lies in all of us. So you can start right now. You know how to make it happen. It's your turn. Before I leave you, there is one more thing I would like to share with you. I would like you to see what the future holds for Talentsoft. And who better to tell you about the upcoming features and product enhancement than the people who work every day to make them happen. Let's hear from them. Based on our users' feedback, we decided to redesign our Talentsoft training homepage. This new feature will offer a simplified overview on automated insights with personal notification to accelerate the training management process. Both managers and training administrators will gain comprehensive insights and efficiency of their learning programs with reports and dashboards that reveal training trends and future opportunities. Here, as an example, on the top of the page, training administrators will access indicators about certifications that will expire soon, number of employees on the waiting list, and number of employees without training within the last year. This way, you will anticipate the learning needs in your company. 
As a training administrator, you will see and be able to cancel all your understaffed sessions. This allows you to optimize your training planification. Based on your insights, you will be able to accept or decline registrations to sessions. For example, when the session is overbooked, you can decline registration and schedule another session. This allows you to optimize your training logistics. On the bottom of the page, you will also be able to accept and decline training requirements. This allows you to align employees' training requirements with their registrations. The Creation Center is a gateway to all of your training actions. For example, when you need to plan training paths, sessions or registration and requirements. This is a new, unique entry point for training administration. This homepage will also bring value for managers since they will be able to get a consolidated view on their training requests for their team and to validate them at once. With this new page, Talentsoft wants to bring even more intelligence in the training management practices so that our users save time and can focus on the employee learning experience. To enrich our continuous conversation application based on constant goal setting and feedback, we are going to develop a one page entirely dedicated to manager employee check-ins. Managers will be able to follow a clear structure in order to make sure that the meetings they have with their team members remain valuable and drive actions. So now let's see what this one-on-one -on -one mentorship application will allow. The feature will provide a review of all feedback sent or received by an employee as well as previous meeting notes and allow managers to identify from this list any key points they would like to discuss with their team members. Managers will also be able to tag them and transform them into future meeting agendas. These discussion points could, for example, concern goals and project updates, recent accomplishments, company news, or short and long-term priorities. We see this future one page as an assistant for preparing and structuring conversation checklists. The aim is for managers to have constructive and actionable meetings with their employees. Managers can all be great coaches. Increasing the frequency of the conversations with their employee is key but supporting them as well to focus on depth and on the quality of the interactions they have is even more important. And that's what Talentsoft is supporting by providing a new tool to organize one-on-one -on -one meetings that are meaningful and to offer as well the support needed for their team to succeed. As you may have noticed, Hello Talent has changed to a fresh and friendly design. Now we are taking a step further by releasing a new welcome page which we call the pool menu. This page will help you stay organized by giving a better overview of your pools, focus on what is important and save time in your daily recruiting tasks. With the pool menu, you will be able to quickly search by status to follow your recruiting pipeline, stay organized with favorite pools, pool search and pool archiving, we will also introduce a top-level menu helping you navigate from pools to analytics and job opportunities, all scheduled to be released this year. So stay tuned! The way we are designing our mobile app is focused on new technological trends like chatbot or AI to bring an even more interactive experience on the mobile. The other drivers for our dev team is to embed all HR components into the app to get in-context feedback so that managers and HR can better focus on employee development. Another pillar of our mobile app is the conversation board. This board is the place to chat or discuss on any HR component with your manager or HR or even with your colleagues. As an employee, if you want to improve your knowledge on, for instance, Talentsoft Suite, here you can ask your manager for approval to attend a training session. This tool allows manager and HR to accelerate employees' development plan accordingly to their personal and business needs. As an employee, you will have an access to the onboarding checklist so that every employee feel engaged from the first day. As a part of sales service, you will be able to upload your documents and complete your profile right from your smartphone. 
Talent of mobile app will embed also other features like agile performance, internal mobility and onboarding. And as all tons of developments, this app is being continuously developed together with our customers based on our co-creation program. So if you want to be part of it, just let us know. If we look at statistics, employee referrals are the best source of new hires. With higher conversion rates from interview to hire, studies show that referred employees tend to perform better and stay longer in companies. With these facts in mind, companies should jump on the opportunity and encourage their own workforce to bring in qualified candidates. We've partnered up with Hunter's mobile app to make it fun to refer former colleagues, friends and acquaintances. Of course, this involves the promise of prizes to employees who bring in new talent. So, how does it work? Employees download a mobile app and refer their ideal candidate for an open position in the company. They can refer anyone who they think might be a good fit for the job. With some simple contact details, a LinkedIn profile, and a few words of recommendation, the candidate is referred for the position. The candidate will then receive an email where they will be directed to upload their CV. At each step in the referrals hiring process, the employee receives points and levels up. Even if their candidates aren't ultimately hired, employees will still earn points, which encourages them to continue playing. Points can be traded in for popular items in the company shop or cashed out for real money. The prizes, and how they are awarded, is completely configurable by the HR department. Finally, employees can refer as many times as they like, all while earning points and prizes. Using a format adapted to today's workforce, employees can recommend new talent, follow the referral's progress, and earn prizes, all from an easy-to-use mobile app. Now it's time for me to say thank you. Thank you to our R&D team, thank you to our product team, and thank you to our great marketing team who helped us make this event a great success. And of course, thank you to each of you in the audience. Thank you for freeing up your very busy agenda uh, to attend our conference. And thank you for sharing constantly your feedback with us because it helps us immensely to build and design the best product for you to save time, to be more productive, and focus on what matters the most, people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Elodie.